Hey guys, Charlotte here. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing Angel, and this is by L.A. Weatherly. Before I start though, I want to say, um, I have like a really sore throat, and for some reason I felt like making the video, so if I just like sound weird, and, and if I sound a little quiet, it's because I'm not trying, I'm trying to like not stress my voice, but for some reason I really wanted to do it now, like of all the times I could do it, but I wanted to make the review now and stuff, so I guess I am. And I gave this book 2.5 out of 5 stars, so as you can tell now, I wasn't a huge fan of it. When it started, it had so much potential. And let me just tell you the biography before I do anything else. Um, Willow knows she's different from other girls, and not just because she loves tinkering around with cars. Willow has a gift. She can look into people's futures, know their dreams, their hopes, and their regrets just by touching them. She has no idea where she gets this power from. But Alex does. Gorgeous, mysterious Alex knows Willow's secret and is on a mission to stop her. The dark forces within Willow make her dangerous and irresistible. In spite of himself, Alex finds he is falling in love with his sworn enemy. And, um, I'm pretty sure this is a trilogy. Um, this is the first one, obviously. And, um, okay, so as I said before, it had a ton of potential. And I think it was, like, the first 100 pages, I was, like, totally into it and I loved it. But around the time that Willow and a Alex actually, like, start having more chemistry, it went downhill. Like, I'm not spoiling anything because, like, he's, you can tell he's falling in love. Um, but when they, like, sort of get together, it was just, like, I don't know. I guess the, what I'm trying to say is, like, the romance ruined it. It ruined it for me. It was just so cheesy and kind of badly written. I mean, like, in the first place, I felt like I never actually got to know both of the characters well enough to actually, like, read about their romance. Like, it didn't feel real because I didn't actually know them that well. And I don't, I, yeah. They said I love you to each other, like, d million times. And, I mean... It wasn't cheesy. I guess it was just, like, the romance was badly written. Because I loved, like, the angel aspects and stuff. But, like, this book is half, like, angel paranormal stuff and then half romance. And you can't really escape the romance. And the romance was really... didn't do it for me. And I don't know. So I, if this... if you, like, are annoyed by kind of the same things as me, then I don't think I wouldn't recommend recommend this book. It was like at least seven chapters <laughs> were the same thing. Like they're like, I love you, I love you, I love you. And then someone chases them and there's like a chase scene. And then after everything there's like, don't want to lose you. Make it. We'll make it together. Can you deal it with it? Can you deal with the dark forces inside me? And by the end of the book, or like halfway through I kind of wanted to stop reading. That doesn't happen very often when I don't want to finish a book. In a book that annoys me, I will finish it, but I was like on the edge. I did finish it, I did read the whole thing, but I was close to like, just like, no. So you know how on the back it says she has like the dark forces inside her? Um, they talk about that whole subject, like the dark forces, they talk about it as if it's like another human being not human obviously but at like another being and that I don't know why just like made me annoying m annoyed I was like that's Willow it's part of Willow it's a Willow they they talked about it like it was like a whole other thing with a whole another mind and I was just like no it's not I feel like the angel part of it was really creative like they had all this like vocabulary like angel burn like I don't know, that's the only one I can think of, but, um, they, it was really creative, and I liked, um, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you much about the actual angel plotline, but, um, it was really creative, like, I loved that, it was just, I'm serious, it was the romance that didn't do it for me, um, I would say it's good for a romance fanatic who doesn't care how, um, strong it is, I guess, 
but I don't know if you were looking for like actual paranormalness like a good angel read which I was looking for I don't think this book will actually be the one you need um I'm just getting into the whole angel book genre and um I don't know this one this one wasn't very good um I do recommend it if you like romance a lot of action and like comforts if you like kissing there's a lot of kissing um if you like crying and if you like cult material this is what I wrote in my review I don't even know what I was saying then but yeah um I might get the next book like it's already out the next book is called Angel Burn and um I might get it, but I won't be buying it. Like, if it's at the library and I see it at the library, I might pick it up. Um, like, I'm not against giving it another try, so, like, definitely if I have the opportunity to get the second book, I'll probably read it. But, um, I'm just saying I won't buy it. And I recommend this book to you. Like, I don't recommend buying it. Like, what I'm saying, maybe just, like, if you see it at the library, pick it up. But yeah, it's more romance than anything else, because there's other things, but the romance cons consumes the book. And yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, feel free to share your opinions. Like, I'm not saying that you shouldn't read it because of my review, but um, if you have read it, feel free to share your opinion and stuff. Um, I wonder, I bet, like, the stuff I didn't like, probably other people liked. Okay, I'm rambling. Goodbye.